Hi, my name is Fiji McAlpine with Do Yoga With Me. This is day eight of your 14 day yoga challenge. Today's practice is a bit challenging, but I think you have it in you. Do your best and enjoy it. Welcome to day eight of your 14 day yoga challenge. We're gonna start our practice today in Virasana. Bringing your hands onto your thighs, rolling your shoulders onto your back, and letting your eyes close. Taking four conscious cycles of breath. Slow, steady inhale. Full, complete exhale. Every cycle of breath that you take of those four allows you to first notice the breath then start to enjoy the breath and start to relax the body and feel as though you've arrived and then be ready for your practice. You can allow your eyes to open, keeping your gaze nice and soft, but keeping that breath that you've just invited into your body and your practice with you. I'm going to sweep both hands up towards the sky on an inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to take the right hand behind the back, gently touching the back of your heart. And then sweep the left hand down and behind your back, working the fingers towards one another. Your fingers might be able to bind here, and if they do, work the bind to create a sense of traction in the shoulders. If you're not able to bind the fingertips together just yet, try and grab onto the back of your shirt. Keep reaching the hands towards one another. Keep the lift in your heart. Try and roll the shoulders back. Now with our next exhale, we're gonna lean the chest forward, coming down slowly. If at any point you find that it becomes a little too intense in the leaning, just pause, maybe back away or linger. If you can, come all the way down with your belly. Do so now, resting your forehead to the floor. And with that next inhaling breath, keeping a roundness to your back, slowly curl back up. Release the bond of your hands, stretch your hands in two different directions. And then as you exhale, bring both hands down. Inhale, reach both hands up. And then switching sides, left hand falls behind your back. The right hand lowers, swings behind you, moving the fingers up your spine, getting your hands as close together as they possibly can get. Start to hold on to the hands, working the bind if you have it, or holding on to the back of your shirt, creating the sense of lift, activation in the shoulders, opening through the chest, just awareness in this part of the body. Starting with that gentle lean, coming forward, pausing anywhere along the way that you feel is the right time or space to pause, or if you can, coming all the way down, letting your forehead touch down onto the mat if possible. Inhale, rounded spine, slowly come back up. Release the bond of your hands and stretch your hands out in two different directions. Again, bring your hands down. This time, let's walk the hands back behind us. Narrow the upper back by sweeping your shoulder blades together, trying to move the inner shoulder blades towards the spine like they could kiss. Then anchor into the center of your palm, squeeze the knees in towards the midline, and just start to lift the hips slightly, taking the gaze up, opening the front side of the body. As you exhale, lower your hips back down, push up onto your fingertips to bring the chest forward, and then bring your hands forward. Hook your toes under here. One hand at a time, reach back to grab the outer edges of your feet, tuck the chin, and bring the crown of your head to the floor about a foot in front of your knees. Once you have that connection with the foot, onto the, with both feet onto the mat, hooking the toes under, and the crown of your head firmly planted onto the floor, you're gonna lift your hips up and gently push them forward rounding your upper back, now trying to broaden the upper back as the shoulder blades sweep away from the spine. And 
Slowly now, pulling with your hands. Roll the spine up. Take a full cycle of breath, enjoying that sweet and deep stretch taking place in the feet. And then slide the hands forward and take the hips back. Let's push down into the heels, reach the hips towards the wall behind you. Smooth the shoulder blades away from one another and energetically push the hands towards the front of the room. Start to use your breath now to expand through the rib cage. Try and move your ribs out to the side with the inhale and thread your navel back and in into the spine as you exhale. With that next inhaling breath, you're gonna lift the heels high, look towards your hands and step one foot at a time between the thumbs. Come halfway up to create space in the back, draw the chin in towards your throat. And then as you exhale, lay the torso down the legs. Don't be afraid to lean forward towards your toes, almost to find that verge point where you feel as though you might tip over. With your next inhale, come halfway up again to lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, take a grand step back with your left foot. Here, we're gonna lower the left kneecap to the ground, lean the hips forward and down towards your right heel, and reach both hands up towards the sky. As you exhale, roll the shoulders down onto the back, feel the energy leaning forward and down towards your right heel, opening up that hip flexor. From here, bring both hands down to the instep of your right foot, pivot the right toes out to the side, bring your right hand onto your right knee and help the right knee to open as you continue to reach those hips forward and down. Notice the connection with your right heel and the mat stays firm. Now twist the upper back, roll the right shoulder back, tuck the left shoulder under and take your gaze up. Take a full cycle of breath here. You can stay, or if you'd like to add a quadricep stretch, we're gonna reach the right hand back. Gather the left foot in the right hand and draw the heel towards the tailbone. You can even use your fingers to pull the toes around. On the next inhale, reach your right hand up. Lower the left foot to the mat behind you. Bring the hands to point forward. Turn the right toes to once again point forward and Activate the left leg so the knee floats up off the floor. From here, pushing into your palms, keeping the core active and stable, swing the right leg back to meet the left. Open your hands outer shoulder distance apart and take a full cycle of breath here in plank. At the end of the exhale, ease the body down to the mat. Point the 10 toes straight back, tone your legs, bring the fingertips off the mat, lift your elbows up, push down into the fingertips, work towards straightening the arms and lifting your heart and head. As you exhale, roll the belly back down. Return your hands to the mat, shoulder blades are high, hook the toes under, inhale to plank, and exhale downward facing dog. Lift your heels, Look to your hands and step one foot at a time between them. Halfway up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway up again as you inhale. Step the right leg back, exhale. Lower the right knee to the ground. Lean the hips forward and down. Inhale to reach the arms up. Roll the shoulders onto the back. Feel the energy of the pelvis moving towards the floor, opening up the top of your right hip and hip flexor. Bring both hands down now to the inside of the left foot. Turn the left toes out to the side. Bring your left hand onto your left knee and gently push the left knee open, keeping the left heel anchored onto the floor. Turn the upper back, rolling the left shoulder back, tucking the right shoulder under. Slow, steady, even breathing. Choosing to stay in this position or reach your left hand towards the back the room or your mat, maybe bringing that right foot up into your left hand, drawing the heel in towards the tailbone, using your fingers to wrap around your toes. 
Gracefully release the right foot, bring the left hand forward, turn the left toes forward, activate the right leg. With strength through your belly, swing the left foot back to meet the right. Open your hands shoulder distance apart. This time as you exhale, come halfway down or less in Chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Hips reach back, head lowers down between the elbows. Lift your heels high, look to your hands, step or hop between your thumbs. Halfway up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Bend the knees, inhale, reach up into the chair of Vukatasana. Find the strong foundation of your legs. Lean back into your heels, lighten your toes. Draw the tailbone under, rounding and opening the lower lumbar spine, hugging the kidneys back, the navel back, moving your arm bones back, settling the shoulders down. Join the palms together and stand tall. Release the hands down beside your hips. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. As you inhale, reach both arms up. As you exhale, reach the hands forward and down. Inhale to come halfway up. Exhale to step the left leg back, this time keeping the left knee lifted. Inhale to come up to your exalted base. Exhale, sink down and into the legs. Lift your left heel as high as you possibly can, feeling that deep flexion point at your toes. On the next exhale, bring your fingertips to either side of your right heel. Inhale, straighten the right leg, flexing the toes, pull the right knee back. Pull the right hip back, push the left hip forward, lift your left heel higher. Lengthen the torso by moving your heart forward, soften both elbows and lower your gaze, your forehead, your nose. Trace your gaze towards your back foot. Keep pushing the left hip forward, pulling the right hip back. Slow, steady, even cycles of breath. Notice by flexing the right foot, you're able to hug your right leg bone back into the pelvic girdle. Keeping your core strongly engaged keeps the torso down against the right leg. Soften the right knee. Sink forward into your high lunge, hips go down. Chest inside your right inner thigh and knee and the gaze is forward. Slow, steady, even cycles of breath. Bring your right hand to the instep of your right foot. Lower your left heel to the floor. Lean your right arm against the inside of your right knee and come into bent triangle. Taking your left hand up, stacking wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist. And then extending the left arm beyond the top of your head without rolling your left shoulder forward. Make a fist with your left hand. Take that fist to the back of your neck or heart and roll your heart towards the sky. Reach your left elbow forward, lifting through the left side rib cage. Keep pushing the right knee back with your right shoulder and arm as you push the hips forward. Extend the left arm nice and long on the inhale. As you exhale, bring the left hand back down. Lift your left heel up. Inhale, reach the right hand forward. Exhale as you swing the right arm out to the side. Inhale, lift the right shoulder and right arm to the sky and take your gaze up. As you exhale, lower the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. One-legged downward facing dog. Take a full cycle of breath, stabilizing in the hips and shoulders. Exhale, pull the right knee into your chest. Inhale to your plank. Exhale to lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a cycle of breath in and out. Lift your heels, look to your hands, step or hop between them. Inhale, sit back in that chair of Utkatasana. Sit down nice and deep. Shoulders roll onto the back. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway up, inhale. Right leg steps back, exhale. High on the toes and the ball of the back foot, inhale. Reach your arms up. Get your legs, get that strong foundation. Lift your back heel as high as you possibly can, feeling that deep flexion point on the right toes. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down to either side of your left heel. On the next inhale, straighten the left leg, flex the foot, 
Pull your toes back, pull the left hip back, lift the right heel as high as you can. Lengthen the torso, then soften the elbows. Slowly lower the torso down the left leg, tracing your gaze back towards your right foot. Slow, steady, even breathing. Try and savor all of those strong sensations that are radiating through that left leg, knowing that every breath you take here is helping to release some of that tension to create more space. And then soften that left knee, lowering the left foot back down to the floor. Slowly lean the hips forward, take the chest inside your left knee and thigh. Just breathe into that right leg. And then sweep your left hand inside your left foot, anchoring the heel of your hand to the heel of your foot. Your left arm inside your left knee as you tip the right heel to the floor. Coming into bent triangle, lifting your right arm up towards the sky. Take the right arm beyond the top of your head, turning your palm down. Push firmly back into the outer edge of your right foot. And then make a fist with your right hand and take that fist to the back of your neck or your heart and try and roll the gaze up. Reach your right elbow forward, lift the right side rib cage towards the sky. Inhale to reach the right hand out. Exhale, reach the right hand down. Lift your right heel. Inhale, left hand reaches forward. Exhale, swinging the arm to the left. Inhale now to lift the left shoulder and arm, turning your heart towards the inside of the left knee. Exhale, bring the left hand down to the outside of the left foot. And inhale, take the left leg up towards the sky, one leg a downward dog. Exhale, pull the left knee into your chest. Inhale to your high plank. And exhale, halfway down or last chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Reach the hips back. Let your head hang heavy, shoulders roll apart. Lift the heels nice and high. Take your gaze towards your hands. Step or hop between the thumbs, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sit back down in that chair of Utkatasana. Finding the strength in the legs, generating that internal heat. Join the palms together. Stand tall in Tadasana. Release the hands down beside the hips. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. From here, step your feet outer hips distance apart. Bring the hands to the hips. Bend your knees and act like you're sitting down in a low chair. Lean into your left foot, flex the right foot and cross your ankle over your left knee. Left hand to your hip, right hand to the right knee. Sit down and push your hands towards the floor but in opposing directions. The right hand is pushing forward, left hand is pulling back. Hips are going as low as they possibly can. Again, with the flexion of your foot, you feel your ability to pull your right leg back into the pelvis. With that next inhale, come back up to stand. Go side to side with your feet. Soften your knees, focus your gaze. And then lift the left foot, flexing the foot. Cross the ankle over the knee. Slide the left hand towards the left knee and start to push the hands down and in opposite directions. Hips as low as they can be. Slow, steady, even cycles of breath. Come back to stand on the inhale. Drop the hands down beside your hips as you exhale, and then inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands down through the center line of the body. Place the hands on either side of your feet. Come halfway up on the inhale, and step your left leg back as you exhale. Let your left knee come down to the ground as we've done before. And take your left foot now and lift it a few inches off the mat. Now swing that left foot to the right, like you're creating a bit of a kickstand here. Your toes are hooking down onto the mat. We're going to bring the hands onto your hips and let your right leg straighten towards the front of your mat. Toes are pointing forward. Turning your chest, turning your hips towards the long side of the mat. Reach your arms out for gate pose. Take your right hand forward and down your right leg as far as it can extend. You can sweep your left arm up and over. 
Try and move as low as you can so eventually the left side of your body runs parallel to the floor. Now again, we're going to make a fist with the left hand. Take this fist to the back of your neck, rotate the heart up, reach the elbow forward, flaring the left side rib cage. All of this is going to make a lot of sense in a few minutes. Extend that left hand again on the inhale. Using strength from your core, exhale to come up. As you inhale, drop the left hand to the back of your mat, float the right hand and right leg. You can even sweep the right arm over your head if that feels good. Come back up to center on the inhale, turn the right toes forward again, bend the right knee and bring your hands down. Now we're going to pause here. You're going to adjust a little bit between your heel and your knee to make sure there's lots of space between those two to sink your hips forward and down. You're going to let your left foot go more passive by pointing the toes and bring both hands to the inside of the right foot. From here we're going to make sure we have space so that our shoulder can be inside of the knee to hold it back. And that rabbit pose we did at the very beginning of our practice that helped us round our spine is going to come back into the practice now. By trying to drop the crown of your head towards the floor, your right hand is going to grab the back of your right calf you're going to push into that muscle. Even take your right elbow out to the side to get some leverage here and try and drop the crown of the head down. Big rounding of the upper back. Now we're going to wiggle. Yes, in yoga there is a little bit of wiggling that takes place. Trying to wiggle that right shoulder underneath your right knee. Keep rounding the back to help you get low. Keep sinking the hips. Now this might be as far as you progress today in this pose. If you're going to go further, your right hand drops to the floor. Palms are flat, fingers are flared. You might stay here. Or if you can, you're going to try and push into your hands like you're doing plank pose to straighten the arms. If you do that, flexing the right foot, it's going to come up with you. Now you can stay here, or if you can, lean into your right hand and grab the outer edge of your right foot with your left hand. Stay here, or start to lift your left shoulder up. Lift your left elbow up. Extend the right leg, and look under your left arm. Pull the left elbow forward, flaring the left side of the rib cage. On the next exhale, bend the right knee, lower the right foot, left hand to the floor, left foot swings back, Right hand reaches forward. Exhale, bring that right hand down. Inhale to straighten the right leg. Flex the foot. Slowly sink the left hip down onto the left heel and crawl the hands forward towards the front of the mat. With your next inhale, slowly round the spine up, dragging the fingertips back. Set your hands on either side of your legs. Using some core strength, lift the right leg, point the toes, thread the right leg through, hands forward, shoulder distance apart, take the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, pull your knee into chest, inhale to high plank, enjoying the simplicity of the pose, exhale chaturanga, upward facing dog inhale, downward facing dog exhale. Take a full cycle of breath in and all the way out. Lift those heels high, look to your hands, step or hop between the thumbs. Halfway up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway up. Step your right leg back. So excited we have another side of the body to try this fun pose out on. Lower the right knee to the ground, sink your hips forward and down, creating lots of space. And then from here, we're going to lift the right foot a few inches off the mat, swing the right foot to the left, creating a bit of a kickstand. Walk your hands back to straighten the left leg, bring the hands up onto your hips, and turn the hips and chest to the long side of the mat. Toes are pointing forward. Extend your arms out on the inhale for gate pose. As you exhale, reach the left hand forward and down. Take your right hand up towards the sky and even over your head, sliding the left hand towards the left ankle, 
getting long through the side of your waist, flaring the fingers, pushing the hips forward into the stretch. With your next exhale, find power from your belly to come back up. And inhale, right hand falls back, left hand lifts, left leg lifts, even taking the arm over your head. Come back up on the next inhale. From here, bring the hands forward, bending the left knee. Relax the right foot a bit more, pointing the toes back. Going to make a little bit of adjustment if you feel that you need it. More space, perhaps, between your heel and your right knee for your hips to sink down. And then we start that progression down again, trying to think about being round in our spine, taking our waist forward and down to create length in the torso, taking the left hand behind that left leg, pushing into the meat of the calf, taking the left elbow out to the side, tucking your chin, seeing if you can get the crown of your head down to help you wiggle the left shoulder underneath that left knee. Choosing to stay here or bring that left hand onto the mat. Both hands are firmly anchored. Choosing to stay there or if you can, straightening your arms, flexing the left foot, pulling the leg bone back into the pelvis for stability. Maybe leaning into that left hand grabbing hold of the outer edge of the foot with your right hand, keep plugging into center, start to lift the right elbow, lift the right shoulder, maybe lengthen out that left leg, rotating the gaze up, pulling the elbow up, reaching the ribs up. Bending the left knee, slowly lower the left foot down, right hand comes down, Right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, reach that left hand nice and long. Exhale, bring it back down. Straighten the left leg out. Crawl your hands back. Let the right hip and heel touch together. And then lay the torso down next to your left leg. Get as long as you can through the sides of the waist, as open as you can through the left hamstring. Inhale, roll the spine up, fingers draw back. Framing your legs with your hands. Activating the core to float the left leg and point the toes. Thread the left leg back and through. From here, take that left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into chest. Inhale to your high plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a full cycle of breath in. And exhale all the way out. Lift those heels nice and high. Look to your hands, step or hop between the thumbs. Halfway up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, sit down in that chair of Katasana. Join the palms together and stand tall in Tadasana. Release the hands beside the hips. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Let your feet separate, hips distance apart. From here, the hands on the hips, the gaze is forward. Leaning into your strong, capable left leg, start to float that right leg up. Keep that flexion of the foot again with the idea of pulling the leg bone back into the pelvis for stability. Now from here, we're gonna take the left hand and again, grab the outer edge of the right foot. Stand tall, pull the leg back and up with you. Root down into your standing leg and lift your chest. Use your right hand to gently smooth your belly to the right. And then take your right hand towards the wall behind you. Take that right foot and push it towards the wall in front of you until it feels straight. Whatever feels like straight to you, whatever causes the sensation of stretch, that's where you get to pause. And at that point, you focus on length. Standing taller, reaching further. Long inhale, full exhale. Bring your right hand forward to your right hip. Bend your right knee, draw it back up. Release the grip around the outer edge of the foot. Bring both hands to your hips. And see if you can use stability from the core to extend the leg forward. Now lower the heel to the ground. Go side to side. Focus the gaze again. 
relax the shoulders, steady the breath. From here, leaning into that strong and very capable right leg, floating that left knee, flexing the foot, the idea of pulling the knee and leg back into the hip. Take your right hand forward, grab the outer edge of that left foot, pull it up with you as you stand tall. Use your left hand to smooth your belly to the left. Extend the left hand towards the wall behind you and extend that left leg towards the wall in front of you. Again, to a point where it feels straight. Focus on your breath. Allow the balanced breath to help with balance in the body. Begin to bend that left knee. Come back to center. Both hands on your hips. Strength from the core to shoot the leg forward. Lower the left heel down. Go side to side. Inhale to reach both hands up. As you exhale, reach the hands forward and down. Lift one foot at a time and slip your hands now under your feet. Lean into your toes, bend the elbows to the side and take your gaze back between your knees. Push your heels into the floor to lift your sit bones towards the sky. Feel the weight in your head, helping to create more length in your neck. And with that next inhale, coming halfway up and releasing one hand at a time. From here, stepping your legs back into high plank, one leg and then the other, pushing down into the center of your palm, hugging your ankles in to create stability here. Now moving to the outer edge of the right foot, inner arch of your left foot. Right toes are tickling the back of your left heel. Lifting your hips as high as you possibly can and then extending your left arm towards the sky. Take a fist now with that left hand and take that fist to the back of your neck. Lift your ribs, pull the elbow forward. Just in your mind's eye, imagine doing this pose now and having that right leg underneath you extending out to the side, being held by this left hand. We're all gonna be there eventually, making our way there one step at a time. Reach the left hand out, lower the left hand down, return to plank as you inhale. As you exhale, go to the outer edge of the left foot, inner arch of the right foot, lift your hips. If you can, take the right hand to the sky, over your head, make a fist, and touch the back of your neck. Lift the right elbow and rib cage, pull the elbow forward. Imagine now that this right hand is holding on to your left leg that's kicking and extending forward. Reach back out as you inhale. Hand to mat, returning to your toes. Bring your knees to the ground and as you exhale, ease back into child's pose. Slow, steady, even breathing. All of these poses unfold one little step at a time. Sometimes that first step is just by planting the seed in our mind. And with that next inhale, roll the spine up. Drag your fingertips in towards your knees. Loop the shoulders up, back, and down. From here, we're gonna bring the fingertips to the floor. Cross your ankles behind you. Rock over your heels. Extend the legs out in front. Bending your right knee. Take the heel into the base of the left inner thigh. Evenly root through both hips down towards the floor and take your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you. Anchor through that left leg by firming it up. Sit nice and tall on the inhale and as you exhale, take your gaze past your right shoulder towards the wall behind you. Every inhale you're sitting tall, every exhale you're trying to twist a bit deeper. Take the gaze forward first. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left leg, rotating the palm to the sky, perhaps grabbing the inner arch of the foot if you can. Right arm extends straight up first and then over your head. Taking your hand now, seeing if you can grab hold of that foot. Again, spiraling the gaze up towards the sky. Lift your right elbow, pulling it forward.
Inhale as you come back up. Exhale, take the right hand to the mat behind you, lift the hips and extend your left arm over your head. Exhale to lower the hips back down. Reach your right leg forward. Point your toes, take both hands behind you, turning the fingers out to the side. Narrow the upper back, squeezing the inner shoulder blade towards the spine and straightening the arms. Point the toes forward, tone the legs, and slowly lift the hips, taking the gaze to the sky. As you exhale, lower the hips back down, flex the feet, draw the left heel in towards the base of the right inner thigh, firm the right leg up, bring your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, sit tall as you inhale, and as you exhale, take your gaze past your left shoulder. Bring the gaze forward first. Lay your right arm down to the inside of your right leg. See if you can grab the inner arch of your foot and extend your left arm towards the sky. Take the left arm over your head, palm turned down. Wrap the fingers around the foot if you can. Rotate the gaze under the bicep. Pull the left elbow forward. Lift the left side rib cage towards the sky. Of course, make sure you're breathing. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, drop the left hand behind you. Inhale, reach the right hand up and back as you lift your hips. Exhale, sink the hips back down. Send your left leg forward. Again, both hands behind you for reverse plank, pointing the toes, firming the legs. Narrow the upper back first, straightening the arms. Charging the legs, tucking the tail, lift the hips. Slowly lower those hips back down. From here, bend the knees, scoot the hips forward towards the heels. Send your feet forward. Inhale to reach the hands out. And as you exhale, come down about halfway. Make sure that the shoulders can shuffle down the back and you're soft. Inhale to reach the arms up. And as you exhale, take your hands to the floor and the outside of your right hip. Back up to center on the inhale. Exhale, take your hands to the floor on the outside of your left hip. Inhale, back to center. Same thing to the right. And now to the left. Back to center on the inhale. Now as you exhale, hands come halfway down and your feet are gonna float halfway up. Shoulders again, shuffle onto the back and go soft. Make sure you're not clenching your jaw. Inhale to move your feet away from you. Exhale, draw your knees in. Inhale again, move the feet away. Exhale, draw in. Last two times, inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. From here, lower your feet down. Roll the chest forward and up as you inhale. And as you exhale, round the entire spine to the floor. Curling the back down onto the mat laying the shoulder blades flat. Move your feet in so that your heels are close to your sit bones but not actually touching the sit bones. Anchor down through your big toes and on the next inhale lift your hips and lift your arms over your head. Squeeze the knees in towards one another, tuck the tailbone under, moving the hips towards the sky. As you exhale slowly roll the spine back down. Do that one more time, extend the fingertips back towards the wall behind you, lengthening the sides of your waist. And exhale, lay the spine back down. From here, the left leg goes long, the right knee draws in towards your chest, interlacing your fingers, pulling the knee towards the right shoulder. Try and release the right hip. Now use your left hand to pull the right leg all the way over to the left. See if you can get it close to touching the floor and then extend your right arm to the right. So you can stay here as option number one. If you'd like to go even deeper into this stretch, you're gonna take your hand and wrap it around the outer edge of your right foot 
and try and extend the right leg again to what feels like straight. So imagining that you're doing this pose standing as we've done before. So there's a firmness to that left standing leg. You're just able to go a little bit deeper into the twist and the stretch. To come out, bend the right knee first. Come onto your back. Pull your left knee in. Let your right leg go straight. Using your right hand, pull the left knee all the way across the body, as close as you can to the floor. Let the left arm extend out to the side. Take your right hand, grab the outer edge of that left foot, if that's the variation you choose to go to, and work the leg as straight as you can. Right leg is active. Your gaze is even traveling to your back left hand if possible. Come out, bend the left knee first, roll onto your back, gather both knees into the chest, and let both legs go nice and long. Allow your body to be open, to create space so that the energy you've created in this practice has the ability to circulate freely through your entire frame. Fingers are soft, eyes are closed, simply enjoying the rise and fall of your breath. Slowly extend your hands now over the top of your head. Point your toes, reach your toes down to the bottom of your mat. Reach your fingers in the opposite direction, feeling long through the sides of your waist. And exhale, draw the knees into chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Use your legs to create momentum to rock and massage the spine. Do that a few times until you rock all the way up to a seated pose. Rocking side to side, bringing the hands to the heart, acknowledging the effort you put forward today in this, pa this practice that might have been a little bit challenging at times. Sometimes more challenging in the mind, perhaps than the body. Smiling with your inner dedication knowing that it helps to strengthen both the body and the mind, prepare you for tomorrow's practice. Namaste.